Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, May 30th, 2019. All right, so today we have the moon in watery Pisces still, which was the case the past couple days. So the theme likely today is still around cultivating our receptive side. Um, what can we do to really accept what is? And through that, find that sense of peace and inner tranquility and intuition as well that Pisces does um, give us, that side of ourself gives us. So with this, we are easing up off of Mercury square up to Neptune from yesterday. So if there's anything that was maybe more challenging with the mind or communication, communication when it dealt with these more etheric realms we're talking about that energy is starting to dissipate here today and what it what's in its place is mercury opposite jupiter which is giving us quite maybe an expansive mind maybe seeing uh, the big picture in our life maybe feeling a bit inspired maybe even some potentials as well we could be thinking about with mercury and uh, today we do have Venus sextile Neptune, so nothing major with this, but a bit of receptivity in our relationships and maybe enjoying a bit of that, again, flow, uh, compassion, understanding, again, receptive energy. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we'll we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel and notice them, some of the signs that I'm mentioning are different, be sure to check out that link down below for more information. All right, so let's take a look here with the placements, uh, the moon in still watery Pisces, which was the case for most of this week already. Um, just a great day for continuing to develop that receptive side of ourself. Pisces is about... Uh, what we can do to surrender, what we can do to accept, and from that, again, connect to that inner sense of peace, inner intuition, and tranquility, and really just connecting to that spiritual side to ourself and spiritual side to life, and um, anything we can do with that intention in the present moment, through that acceptance, through the spiritual work, whatever it is, makes it a great way of working with this energy at this time. Now we are starting to end the current lunar month. We are entering into the balsamic phase, which is the ending phase of the lunar cycle. So adding to that watery energy of Pisces, the energies of the lunar month are starting to die down. So we'll likely notice this, and again, just makes it a really good time for maybe doing some clearing or maybe even finalizing some things uh, from this uh, previous lunar month. Now, in terms of the aspects, we do have quite a bit going on here today, as you can see. Um, one of which is from yesterday, which was Mercury square Neptune. Mercury, the planet of our minds and communication, was in a bit of this harsher uh, aspect with Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, which is the, in this case, maybe... Uh, more nebulousness or uncertainty, or maybe, um, again, needing a bit more of that receptive energy with our minds or communication. So this is likely dissipating if you did feel a little bit of that challenging energy, but it does make it a really good day for integrating, again, any perspectives we can have that are more accepting, especially if they do deal with what we're thinking about, deal with what, what we're maybe communicating, or maybe even might deal with the routine. In fact, with this aspect, it makes it a great day for spiritual activities and bringing in a bit of that, again, presence, <clears throat> acceptance, and, um, and you know flow, you could say, with the routine. So any intentions we can set with that makes it a great day for those things. Now, with that, um, there's quite the contrast of energy because not only are we dissipating from that, but we're going to start to feel probably a bit of this Mercury opposite Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion, of potentials, of possibilities. And again, this is involving perhaps our mind or maybe even how we're communicating, maybe a bit jovial or again inspired. So with this, it makes it an excellent day, particularly the later part for anything that integrates both our practical minds, Mercury, and our expansive minds or theoretical minds, uh, side of our mind, which is Jupiter. And so any um, sort of integration we can do with these two polarities, the practical and the possible, you could say the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain, right? These kinds of things where it's about inspiration, but at the same time doing the practical work makes it an excellent day for those kinds of things. Could be planning, could be thinking about the future, um, opportunities, potentials, again, anything that makes it tangible and real 
really good. Also very good for philosophy, maybe discussing philosophy, thinking about it, spirituality, astrology, again, anything in that expansive realm. All right, so that's probably the most important stuff. But as a minor note to the day, we do have Venus sextiling up to Neptune, which can give us some acceptance and receptivity in particularly our relationships today. And maybe when it comes to just enjoying these these types of receptive things. So it could be a great day for compassion, trust, flow, again, acceptance in relationships, and then maybe just enjoying a little bit more of that um, receptive energy, which again is going to likely be a bit easier to work with today just generally because of this aspect here. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. Most important thing, easing up off of that uh, square to Neptune. Great day for integrating spiritual perspectives, spiritual activities. As the day unfolds, great for expanding our worldview, integrating these potentials or more theoretical things in our life in very practical ways with our mind or you know, coming up with plans or things of this nature. And um, as a backdrop, a bit of an openness for receptivity when it comes to our relationships and enjoyments in life. Also with this aspect does make it very good for creativity and anything that does involve uh, the imaginative mind as well. And again, that's really the theme anyways because the moon's in Pisces, which is all about that uh, creative, intuitive, and uh, spiritual type of stuff. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the weekend forecast. Take care.